Hi everyone! So in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the S143 and the S132 eyeshadow brushes by Hakuhodo. So these are two more eyeshadow brushes in their um, flagship Beverly Hills line, which is their expensive line that has the gold-plated ferrule, the hand-painted orange handles, and then these beautiful little, um, you know, shaped handles with the uh, decals on the end of them. So these two brushes are both made of weasel hair, which is quite a stiff, springy hair. Um, and I really haven't used these brushes very much, so I can't give you my personal you know, how much I like them or how much I use them or anything because I just don't, after I got these, I just realized that I don't really use these type of brushes. I don't prefer them. I prefer something thicker um, to lay down shadows such as, you know, my MAC uh, brush here. Um, that's just the type of brush that I like to use to lay down shadow. And these are like this little one, the S143 is like a little detail brush kind of. Uh, but you could almost use it for liner because it's 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 quite pointy sort of on the tip. But anyway, it's a little detail brush and then this one um, is supposed to be for laying down shadow and packing on shadow. Um, and so I just don't really, I just don't really like these. Kind of like paddle foundation brushes, I don't really like those. <laughs> I don't really like these either. But I wanted to show them to you and just so you could see in person comparing them to the size of two common brushes that people have, which is the MAC. Um, it's either the 238 or 239 again, my number is off the handle, but it's the one that lays down shadow excellently. So sideways, the, both the weasel ones are just quite thin. I mean you can just think of them as being quite thin but springy, like very kind of springy. They have, you feel like pushback on them when you, when you do this. Um, and then these two brushes compared to the MAC 217. So you can see how long the longer one is almost as long as the MAC 217. It's just a bit shorter. So, so that's those two brushes. Uh, and then what they retail for on the website is the, um, the S143 brush retails for $38. And that's the tiny one. And then the big one, the 132 brush, retails for $48. So if you like those kind of brushes, these are good quality brushes. They're quite springy and um, you can see um, when I do this, the they start to taper about about the top, you know, starting right here. I can't point with my finger. Starting about right here is where they start to taper off. So it's not all the way down here like a lot of the other brushes. It's it's kind of uh, close up and this one's the same way. It starts to taper closer to the tip. Um, so anyway, uh, again this is the S132 brush and the S143 brush. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye!